Okay, well, like it says here, um, I wanted to find out what the best method was for attaching shroud lines to a competition type mylar parachute. Uh, I've been using a glue for about the past five, six years, and my um, teammate's been using mylar tape. So, slide. So, basically, you know, what do you use? Um, what is the best way? Uh, like I said, my partner uses tape, I use glue. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, our approach I, I made these. I got one mil mylar uh, for parachute material. Um, let me take that one. I had one mil, I took some one mil mylar that I used for streamer material. I had this big roll, so I cut it into a bunch of sections. And then I got some 20 pound string for the shroud line. The reason I went with such heavy shroud line and mylar is because the testing method I did at the first since the test to begin with, it was so strong it was going to rip anything quarter no would, would handle. It. So we went with higher, uh, stronger string, stronger mylar. Um, then of course we got various glues and tapes. Uh, then we tested the samples using a modified thrust stand that you'd use for a mud rocket engine. And we compiled the data. So next please. Um, I didn't see anything on there online going back like 16 years worth of what's up there. I didn't notice that anybody's done uh, this type of testing before. So uh, we went ahead and tried it. So next slide. So on the right, we have my uh, test rig. And you got a magnetic cylinder on the top. There's a two-way valve. Um, there's a load cell. That's that blue thing right below the cylinder. There's a clamp, the same clamp on the bottom. And you can actually see one of the mylar and straight samples there. Um, down at the bottom here is the uh, DAQ system. It's the actual the thrust stand, the electronics. You can, uh, well, and then there's the uh, software that goes with it. All that can get, uh, you can get it on, online for free. There's a schematics online, the software's a free download. And you go to the blog, bxrockets.com, and it's download uh, the angle of the shirt out of, say his name right. He's the guy that's uh, doing this stuff. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a free board, so I didn't have to pay for it. Um, also, just an air compressor set at 30 PSI, laptop, power supply, and then a bunch of shroud line, tape and glue. I mean, that's what we did. And uh, let's see, uh, cylinder set uh, 5 to 1 ratio, so if I put 1 PSI in, I get 5 out. Next slide. A couple samples there. Um, again, it's just like 1 and eighth inch wide piece of mylar, 7 inches long. Shroud line with a loop at the top, and that loop connects on to our load cell. Next slide. Facilities, did it in my house, so I didn't go out and fly or anything like that, so it was real nice. Next slide. Budget, cost me about 50 bucks in glue, because I had everything else. Uh, the test rig, the pneumatic cylinder, and everything was off the shelf, sitting there at work, so I borrowed it. Uh, software was free, DAC board I got, a free sample. The load cell is, uh, is, is borrowed. Mylar leftover stream of terror from Iron 52. And the shroud lights and kite string I had. Uh, so if I had a bike, I'd cost about 500 bucks. Next slide. This is all the data. What we did is we made 11 samples of everything. We tested 10 of them. We took out the low and the high. And then we averaged the eight remaining ones. There's a column there where the standard deviation you can see. Very wide variation of um, the data. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with how much glue I put on, the tape, how I pressed on the tape, um, stuff like that. Um, you can see a uh, Great Plains CA, it's, it's actually the worst. So you, you, don't, you don't want to connect your shroud runs with CA. Uh, the best is this Surf Bond 9000 Clear. A lot of the stuff you can get art supply stores, hobby shops. Main trap stores is main a lot of the stuff I came from. Um, but you can see the average pounds on the, the 9,000 9, clear was a 15.8 pounds of force it took before it came off. That's more than a quarter of a mile I would ever take, of course. So basically, what you're seeing here is you've got glue on the top, tape samples on the bottom. The worst tape is Avery paper, those paper labels that you stick on, you put a hole in it, and you tie your shroud line. Those are the worst. Uh, we did do an Estes shoot because those were made by hundreds of thousands a year. And we tested that and it was actually slightly better than the, uh, the Avery labels. And uh, tape-wise, if you want a good tape, you use your Mylar tape. The stuff that we use all the time, I guess most people use, I use glue. 
but my teammate used Mylar, and it, it held the best. Uh, what else we got here? Comments. Um, some of the glues, even though, even though some of the glues like that 9001 held better than some other ones, I wouldn't use them. It's uh, too stiff. It does not flexible. Um, so you want something that's flexible so you can hold your shoe up, it's not going to get in the way. Um, also, some of the glues are tacky when they're done, so uh, things stick to it. Um, you can get around some of them by putting uh, some talcum powder on your shoe. Um, so this, the glue I've been using has been either the tacky glue or the, uh, the Super RC56 at the top. So the two glues I've been using all along are actually the glues I would most likely recommend. Actually, the tacky glue would be the best because it doesn't have as much of a sticky surface and you can get it anywhere. Next slide, please. So here's a chart. This is the software on the Tony computer. And uh, we hit a button. I think I missed something. Go back, sorry. Go back a couple. I knew I missed something. Go back. Another one. Another one. Keep going. The video, bottom left. I'm sorry. I knew I forgot something. We're going to have to play it probably the second time because it's going to go fast. Play it, replay it. You can see it just you hits the button and it pulls it. I wanted something that was nice and consistent. We would do it repeatedly every single time. The clamp, is, you just release the clamp, put another sample in, you're ready to go in about 10 seconds. Okay, minimize that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now go forward about five slides. All right. right there. So you can see this is a blue sample black, uh, graph. Goes up and then it just sharply comes down. You know, just it, it instantly releases. Top, you can see the max newtons on this particular one. This has this is really made for rocket engine testing, but again, I use it for, for this. Next, this is a tape one. The tape one's kind of gradual, it, it drops, but then it kind of gradually lets go. Next, and here we got a graph. You can see the different glues we use, different tapes, and the actual pounds of force it took. So again, you're getting some 14 pounds of force on glues. Best you have on tape is five. Um, tape be only one glue being CA. CA would basically just snap this uh, release from the, the, the mylar. What do you mind, really? So basically, right, next slide. Conclusion. Every glue we tested was basically better than any tape. Um, Ellen's, Elaine's tacky glue is probably what we'd recommend because it's really easy to get and get it anywhere. Walmarts, Kmarts, anywhere. Um, the disadvantage of the glue, it takes a couple days to dry. I probably wouldn't do it tonight and fly tomorrow, although you, you might be able to, but I'd probably give it two days to dry. Um, doesn't use a lot of room, especially, sorry, oh, doesn't use a lot of room because, uh, uh, especially on a quarter of a mile you don't need as much glue. Uh, it's going to be, you know, your bonds are going to be way stronger than your parachute. Mylar, um, the mylar, Tapes. The mylar is the best for the, the best performing in tapes. Um, it's easy to make a parachute on site if you need it right away. Uh, it takes up a little bit more room, but it's still going to be probably stronger than your parachute. You see the room? Next. Future. Different glues, different tapes, uh, different kinds of parachute material. Maybe dry cleaner bags, uh, any kind of different other kinds of plastic materials. Shroud lines. Uh, when you're using tape, there's a lot of shroud lines that have fuzzy, they're the fuzzy texture. Maybe they're going to stick better to tape. So we test that. Um, is a, um, all of our samples we use a loop at the top where the tape went over. Is that better than you know just a straight piece coming down? So there's many different ways of bonding it to with tape to the, to the mylar and uh, string. Um, 20 pound rated string isn't 20 pound. 12 pound rated string isn't 12 pounds because I was testing the string and they would break in probably 25 percent less than what they were actually rated at. I also found that uh, nylon string stretch a lot. Which is good, it'll take up a lot of force. Instead of like a cotton spread, which won't stretch, it'll just snap. Um, next slide. I think that's it. Yeah. After doing this report, I took all that off. 
and it's just shroud lines with glue, uh, half a mile away. So <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm testing my, my uh, R&D project on my Napa alone. So I don't think you need it. Because uh, if you combine all the strings, all the bond strength they have, um, I was actually going to bring a bowling ball and stick it in the parachute and yank it off the ground, but I ran out of time. Um, I, I can't see it releasing ever. Next, oh, sorry. Just now you were talking about the Avery label, and you were saying Avery labels punch a hole, tie the string. You didn't tie any string, did you? Um, just on that one. You did on Because it was, that's how it's done. I mean, you have that little bitty, that's the donut with the hole in the center. So there are two so oddball samples. That was, yeah, was a tied one, and then that was a good comparison to the Estes parachute, which is basically the same thing, except it's on that uh, polyethylene plastic, which actually turned out to be stronger than half a mile mylar with that same little disc. Okay, then since you like that, Kylie's blue the best. Yep. What's the exact technique you use for gluing them down step by step? You put some in a cup. You get a, a cotton swab. You stick it in the cotton in the glue. You know, kind of swish it around a little bit, set it aside, and let it dry. And then you have this rubber applicator tip, because it never dries completely. It stays rubbery. And then you just little, you dip it in the glue, you know, it's a little, like, one inch long. I don't know, actually, here. All right. You have samples? One of each. You got one tape and one glue. Now, if you're using quarter mil mylar, and with thinner string, you don't need as much glue as I have here. So literally, it's very, very little glue, just enough to, to coat the string. So basically, you stick it down, put the string on it, wipe over it, let it dry for a couple hours, do the same thing one more time, just wipe over it again, and you're done. So it's about five minutes to put the shroud lines on, let it dry, come back about an hour later. When I mean dry, you know, dry to the touch, let's say. And just put a little bit more on, and you're done. I, I, I'm using a Q-tip that I dipped in the glue first, let it dry, and it actually becomes a Q-tip that's kind of rubbery. Yeah. And then you don't have the cloth and all the stuff, kind of the, the cotton pulling away. And I lay my uh, my parachutes down, and I have little lead ingots that I stick around so it stays all flat. And then I just, I just put them on. It's real simple to do. So I'll give it two days to dry. So. I went up to Oh, sure, sure. After reading your R&D, we went out and bought some. It, uh, yeah. I'll never do a parachute with tape again. It, it, it's simple, it, and it's anybody can do it. And again, um, you're talking 15 pounds of force to pull it off. I don't think any tape. I, I haven't seen everybody's method of doing things. I saw a new one today, which was kind of cool. Um, but uh, I can't see 15 pounds pulling off. Of course, a quarter mil mylar is never going to take 15 pounds. It's probably going to take two to three, if that. But it lets you know that you can use glue and some kind of whatever shroud line, and it's never going to let go. It's the parachute material itself that's going to let go. So I've been flying with an egg loft and FAI parachute and been doing really good. Yes? No, again, this testing was just on mylar. Uh, some glues aren't going to stick to some materials. So again, again, this was just mylar for this one. If both materials, glue and tape, are stronger than the mylar, what's the matter? Well, can't argue with that. But uh, the tape is going to take up a little bit more room, at least the method that I use. Okay? And my, my partner, or my teammate, who's actually used mylar, he's had shroud lines come out. I'm sure most people here have had shroud lines come out. It's not that the tape, uh, yeah, again, the tape itself is stronger, you know, the bond is stronger, but they do still slide out. Um, so it's not as consistent as glue, I guess would be my best answer. Uh, the Avery, uh, you're talking about the little holes? The little holes, yeah. Are uh, we using plastic ones or the paper ones? They were the paper ones. Oh. I, that was just, yeah, I couldn't find the plastic ones. Yeah, those, those are much better. Yeah. But still, it's not going to be better than glue, I think. George? Is there a difference on, on the matter from one side to the other? I, well, see, yes, there is. There's a, I didn't do the testing. I did all the testing, I believe, on the shiny side because I like the shiny side out to reflect the light. So. Yes? Did you use the uh, just straight tape, I mean, straight string, or did you put knots in the end of it? 
when I glued it, it was just a straight string. When I used tape, I did like the loop at the end, like I was talking when I was a kid like from Estes, the little publication, so I kind of looped it around and came out. And then we pressed it with an eraser as best we could to you know, really smush the tape over the, the string. Through tape over the knot then, or over the loop? Well, again, I didn't use knots. I, just used, I, I kept everything the same. I mean, there's a thousand variations we can do here, but I try to keep everything consistent other than those little tape rings I did two, two different tests. I think he's passing some around. It'll eventually get around so you can see how he glued it versus the tape with the loop. And again, there's probably more glue on that than you would ever want to use on a quarter bill mylar parachute because it's, again, I was pulling, I knew I was going to be pulling a lot of force and it's 20 pound string and you're not going to use that on any little you know, contest model unless you do an egg loft or like my dad. Okay, we're out of time. Thank you very much.